Yes. Um, first of all, how do you how, how do you feel the decision is going to go? Uh, I th- I'm hoping for the best uh, that uh, Priti Patel will do the right thing. There are so many reasons to support that uh, decision to, to block the extradition. OK, so behind the scenes today, lots of legal documents will be prepared, submitted to the Home Office today ahead of that decision, which could be in the next fortnight or so. What is the legal case to try and prevent Assange from being extradited? Well, I mean, there are so many arguments there. Uh, to start with the obvious, the extradition treaty between the US and the UK uh, specifically prohibits uh, extradition on the basis uh, of, of accusation of uh, a political uh, uh, act. So we are seeing this indictment against Julian uh, on the basis of the uh, Espionage Act. So he is, how, however ridiculous it is to, to equate journalism with espionage, it is a political offense, an alleged political offense. So that in itself should stop it. There are many other reasons. Uh, Priti Patel could look to... Uh, to the arguments that the magistrate court uh, looked to, which was the health reasons, that uh, Julian's health was simply so bad that he would, would not be able to withhold, uh, withstand the, the conditions in the U.S. jails. Uh, and that was uh, overturned in the high court. So you could uh, look to the example that Theresa May took uh, 10 years ago when uh, uh, her predecessor, when she stopped uh, the extradition of, of uh, Gary McKinnon uh, on, on health re- grounds. Uh, so, I mean, and then, of course, we could get to the obvious. Uh, it is simply a reputational issue. Mm. The United Kingdom is trying to raise its profile as guardians of press freedom around the world. It is, of course, unacceptable that a journalist has been sitting in Belmar's prison, uh, probably the longest serving remand prisoner in this country in the latter times, and to extradite him uh, or, or, as, as a result of this political persecution is unacceptable and it will be a stain on the reputation of the United Kingdom. But the American government says that those leaks uh, that he's responsible for have endangered lives. They have said so, but they have not provided any proof. And on the contrary, they have had to admit under oath in a court martial of Chelsea Manning that there was no physical harm resulted in the publication of these documents. What about Julian Assange's alleged links to Russia in all of this? How much will that be a factor? It is not a factor in the indictment against him. He's been indicted for exposing war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. And we should be uh, understanding the importance of that as a journalistic feat. We are now actually putting pressure on journalists and asking them to uh, to expose and gather evidence of war crimes in the current conflict in the Ukraine because it's extremely important. That is one of the most important role of journalists who, who bear witness in conflicts, especially so, so people can be brought to justice who commit war crimes. That is the so-called crime of Julian Assange, to commit journalism. Yeah, but what but, about when that infringes on national security? Yeah, that, is there a limit to that? There has been no argument. Of course, there are limit to what can be published, and that has always been the policy of WikiLeaks to put a, a, a limit of that. But let's just uh, be uh, face, look at the obvious thing here. What uh, Wikileaks did and Julian did in 2010, which is the basis of the indictment against him, is uh, cause a, an embarrassment to the empire. That is not a crime. Journalists who, who, are, who, are, who are brought to trial because they cause an embarrassment to, to a regime, uh, that we don't call that uh, a normal practice in a democratic society. Mm.